Welcome to Epilogue from CCL Forensics. I'm Alex Kate Ness, the developer of this tool, and in this video I want to provide an overview of what Epilogue is, what it does, and how you can benefit from using it. We'll take a more in-depth look at how to use the tool in future videos. So, what is Epilogue? It's an SQLite forensic analysis tool which recovers deleted records from SQLite database files. SQLite is everywhere. We see it used extensively on smartphones and tablets, across a wide range of PC and Mac applications, and even on satnavs and other devices. As a digital forensic practitioner, you're likely to see a number of SQLite databases in the course of an investigation. There are a number of ways you can view live records in these database files, but because of the way the database is structured, it is possible to recover deleted records, which may contain data vital to your investigation. And that's what Epilog does. So when you load up Epilog, this is what you see. Across the top there are four tabs, the first being the Database Forensics tab, which it's likely you'll be using most of the time. This is where you can use Epilog to recover deleted records directly from a database file. There are also tabs for Journal Forensics, where you can recover records from SQLite's temporary journal files, Raw Data Disk Image Search, where you can use Epilog signatures to search for SQLite records in an arbitrary block of data, for example a hex dump from a phone or a raw disk image, and finally a Table Analysis tab, which can assist when it comes to writing your own signature files for Epilogue. Down the left hand side of the screen we have the settings for the various data recovery algorithms. You can use these algorithms in combination to maximise the amount of deleted data you can recover. We'll cover the specifics of these in future videos. Along with the usual help and file menus we have a tool menu which contains Epilogue's exporting features. Epilogue can not only export the recovered records to a spreadsheet but also to SQL insert statements so that deleted records can be recovered back into a live database file so they can be viewed in context or be parsed with other appropriate tools. Epilog can also export any blob or binary fields en masse. These fields can, for example, contain images or other files stored inside the database. Epilog is designed so that a power user can really maximise and customise the data that is recovered. However, even with the default settings, a wealth of deleted records can be recovered. For example, this database file appears practically empty when accessed logically. However, when loaded into Epilog, using the default settings, the free page and generic extraction are able to recover a considerable number of records. In the next video, we'll be looking in depth at the Database Forensics tab, looking a little closer at the three different algorithms, including the use of signature files to maximise the amount of deleted data you can recover. If you're interested in learning how to use Epilog to its fullest potential, along with other information about SQLite databases, training is available. Please contact Epilog at ccl-forensics.com for information. If you have any queries about Epilog, any suggestions for features that you'd like to see, or if you have any databases that you'd like to see covered by Epilog's signature library, please drop a line to the same address. Thanks for taking the time to watch this brief presentation. And if you've not already downloaded your free trial of Epilogue, you can do so at ccl-forensics.com epilogue.